Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is a solo guide on this week's Shattered Realm, which is the Forest of Echoes. It is the Legendary Edition, it is under 25 minutes, and it is flawless. As you can see, I'm doing it on the Shade Binder. It's a bit of a first, actually, because I don't think I've used Stasis before in a video. Uh, I've detailed all the all the art aspects and fragments that I'm using. I'm going to be using the Biting Winds, my primary. That is obviously for the Overload Champions. Threaded Needle and the Heavy, both of which have Taken Spec on. If you're unsure how to get Taken Spec, there is a video on the channel showing you how to get it. I will. It will be one of the suggested videos at the end. Uh, mods that I'm using, uh, as you can see, I've got Protective Light. Uh, I'm going to be getting wells every time I break a shield. I'll be getting a well. That's, uh, that's on the helmet. That is the Shield Crash Wellmaker. Uh, as you can see on the gauntlets, I have Well of Life, which every time I pick up a solar, solar well, I'll get health back. I have Elemental Charge on the chest plate, uh, which is the Sanguine Alchemy. Basically, when I put down a rift, kills in the rift will extend the rift duration. So there are going to be times where I'm still in a rift and I've got a rift back, which survivability in this is key. As you can see, I'm using hard light and the energy, and I also have particle deconstruction on on the bond just to get that extra damage from the threaded needle, which, as you'd have seen, has uh, Vorpal and Rangefinder. So... I'd done this first live on stream, first time I'd ever been in, hadn't hadn't had a look at it. It was a bit of a struggle, but we got through, but it wasn't flawless. And I always wanted to come back and revisit this. So this morning, Friday the 29th of uh, October, I decided to come in and got it pretty quickly, actually. Couple of little bits I probably would have would have done slightly differently, but I can talk you through those as we're looking at the run. So the majority of the shields you're going to deal with in here, they're, they're, as you, when you select this activity, it tells you what adds are shielded with what elemental shield. That's why we've got hard light on, so I can switch between the elements. The majority of the normal adds are void shielded. Your captains, solar captain, solar knight, obviously as you can see their solar shield. Uh, and the Cabal Centurions are Arc Shield. There, there, there's, in, this, in the second area, you're going to come up against those. Sometimes you might get one in this area, but as you can see, as you'll see in this video, I actually, this time, I get uh, all solar in this first area. So my Hard Light has the Catalyst, which increases stability, which is key for doing this, because you don't really want to get too close. And you see there's a couple of wells. I'll pick them up, I'll get a charge light. And the reason why the charge light is so good, protective light is is a <laughs> is a lifesaver. But it's it's very good. Uh you can put other mods on if you don't want to go with uh, the mods that I've used. You can there, there there are other mods you can use. But I found these worked really well. The art the aspects as well for uh, shape binder that I'm using. I have Whisper of Hedrons, so that basically weapon, uh, increases weapon stability, aim assist, mobility, resilience, and recovery when I freeze a target. So that that makes me a little bit more tanky when I'm freezing targets. Uh, Whisper of Torment. I gain grenade energy each time I take damage from a target. Very good. Uh, Whisper of Re Refraction. Defeated slowed or targets. Uh, defeating slowed or frozen targets grants you class ability energy. Basically, gives me more energy for my will. My my uh, will. It's not a will. <laughs> I've got will on the brain. My rift. <laughs> and fi finally, whisper of chains. While you are near frozen targets or friendly stasis crystals, you take reduced damage from targets. All survivability i'm playing right into getting the grenade and my rift back sanguine alchemy as i say every time you get a kill when you're on your rift it freezes the timer of your rift so really good uh you can see here uh i'm just checking my mods making sure that i've got everything right on so when we get in here this is you're basically just going to clear the ads in that first area to make your way here i i sometimes check around the back to make sure that uh, that uh, there's no ads hiding, and as you can see that I didn't check, and there was an ad. So 
this left hand side where I am now, this is where I'm going to do most of my work from. And the reason why I've chose to do it from here, not the back, is when when you when you when you do it from the back, the, basically the ads are going to be facing you, and the fire from the, the those captains. What you've got in here is your captains. You've got solar shielded acolytes, you've got wizards, and you're going to have an overload and an unstoppable. They will come in at different times. The first wizard you're going to get is going to be an elite. The second one is just going to be a major. They're both going to be, they're not going to be red bar. They're going to be yellow and it's kind of like an orange for the major, I think. And you're going to get a whole slew of, as you can see here, these solar shielded captain so what i'm doing is i'm breaking the shield and then i'm using the threaded needle to uh to take them to kill them once once the shield is broken i have linear fusion rifle finder and scavenger on so we're, we're all good you can see that i'm taking damage because my rift has run out but because i was getting a, a number of kills from my rift while i was in it i extended the duration of the rift long enough that you can see there, uh, the minute I get a kill here, you'll see, you should see if I'm in the rift when I get it, uh, that it, it stops the 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 timer. But I've, I've got my rift back, but you can see stat boost. Stat boost there is... Uh, that, that that that's the fragment uh, whisper of hedrons that increases all your stability and your durability basically. So we're going to do a damage from here. The minute I get a the minute I get a grenade, I'll put it down in front of just in front of the pillar that I'm at, so it's facing all the way down. There's the wizard. I'm I'm not just going to threaded needle the wizard. I want to stun the wizard with the hard light and just keep the wizard in place long enough that I can get a couple of threaded needle shots. You're also going to get ads coming in constantly. So you can see I've got my rift down. There's my grenade. I'm going to put my grenade down. Hopefully the grenade can freeze the wizard. And there we go. We got the break. And we got a bit, bit of frozen damage there. And there we go. And there's what overload. Now, there is a thing you can do here. If you're taking too much damage, you can go outside and go in another entrance. And it just, especially the night, sometimes it, it, uh, sometimes it confuses the knights. And they keep shooting where the last place they saw you. Let's get another, another little turret down. And, and basically that's what we're going to do here. You see that knight? He, he, that knight isn't from this activity. It, obviously it's from Sharp Realm, but... It, he was one of the ads from outside that just wandered in. It can happen. So, first tip is before you get in here, make sure you check around the back that there's no ads hiding. So, there's only one ad up now for the first wave. This is the first wave. You get the you get an overload in the first wave, and you just get a whole host of these these uh, knights, these taken knights. So I'm just going to grab some stuff. I've got all my abilities are up. Uh, now in this wave, you're going to get roughly the same as what you got before. You're going to get an unstoppable instead of an overload. You're going to get loads of uh, take and throw. And, and I don't know, maybe it was just the way that I seen it. I didn't think I got as many of the taken captains, but maybe I did. You see there, just chain that. Uh, explosive damage this side is really good but as I say if you do if you do need to uh, as you can see there as well I never mentioned I've got the I've got the the, the, the aspect on where I when I when I defeat a frozen target I send seekers out to go and freeze other things really really helpful so we'll just change to solar here so we can take one of these out Got to watch out for these guys. They put another turret down. They're, they're a one-hit melee. <clears throat> they're not. They are dangerous, but they're not as dangerous as the captains. All the yellow bars, obviously, are more dangerous. I'm just switching here, as you can see. I'm just switching back to solo, and we'll see if we can get some shield breaks going on here and just defeat a couple of these knights. Back to void. 
clear these. <clears throat> and there's the other wizard. You see the wizard coming in the doorway. So it's just a, a just a normal kind of same kind of uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Same same as the the knights. It's not an elite. I'll just toss that out the front there. Now we should be expecting the overload. The overload hasn't arrived yet. Uh, unstoppable, sorry. There he is. So I'll just charge my unstoppable shot and try and just drop a couple of shots on him. Now, the turret done really well here. It did keep on stunning him. But uh, the turret done really well to control the unstoppable. I've almost got my rift back. I'll just use the hard light because you can still damage these ads. You can still damage a champion. Now, as you can see here, I'm just going to go outside, do a little run, or back in, and now I think it's just the one captain. Just do a finisher. Oh no, there's still another captain up. Break his shield. And I'm not going to waste heavy. And there you go. That's the first section. So so for me, this first section really... Uh, you can control the ads from just up where I was, just to the right of... As you come in, if you come in from, 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 from this side that we're going out now, then it's just where you activate it on the right-hand side. It just saves you from the fire a bit more. As you can see here, if, 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 if where you are, if the fire is coming directly at you, it's, there's not really any way to hide or to get cover. So just make sure that you're, you're constantly putting down your turrets and that you can get your turrets back fast, fast enough. Survivability is key in this whole thing. I think this is the most difficult, uh, that this one here that we've just done. Uh, the first beacon is more difficult. The second beacon... I mean, it's hectic, but I, f I felt as if I wasn't in as much trouble consistently. So here, I, <laughs> I actually got lost. I was looking for, so we've got the strife, but I can see it from here. Just up to a right here. Yep, just up there. I don't know why I never activated it, but that's what I was looking for. And for some reason, I, I don't think it was. That will open up some... A pathway up to the second the second section uh, and that just just go on to that and and run up to the other section really uh, so I'm trying to think what that it, it, uh, true sight that's what I'm thinking of so that that activates true sight which which gives you the ability to take the, the platforms over to the second beacon now, again, you do have to be careful. The minute I seen those those yellow bar, I knew that that wasn't the way to go. Uh, now I realise, because I'm an idiot, uh, that I was in the right place to start with. Now, when you get over here, there's going to be a bunch of ads just over on these platforms. Uh, there's a couple of a couple of void shielded uh, ads, but there's two snipers. There's a hobgoblin and a vandal sniper. You can see there if you can get a good break. A good shield breaker. I'll just clear them all. Uh, take out the hobgoblin, and the shield break actually damaged the vandal to the point where it was just a tickle, and that—that's all that was needed. So then, keep heading over here. Now I actually went up the strife uh, section because there wasn't any ads. Uh, you don't have to. You could, if you've got true sight for long enough, you could go back and get true sight and go all the way up to the to the area. Uh, I've, I've used the, the field of strife, so, so basically I'm not suppressed. I can run all the way through here. Now, when you get up to the second beacon, you're going to have a couple of little little ads, these little uh, scions, but you're going to have an arc shield, a cabal, uh, centurion. you just got to be careful. Change to arc. You're on, in the first area, you're going to be switching. The first beacon, you're going to be switching between void and solar, but in this area, only arc is needed. So now I'm going to use my bow. Uh, the bow that I'm using, obviously, is the Biting Winds. I've got a Taken Spec on it. It's a very, very good uh, kinetic. My my one has no distractions and explosive head. 
So when you, when you, once you activate it, come over here, come over to this. Uh, it's, it's on the left as you're coming in, but it's, it's, it's just next to the portal. And this, this is probably the best cover in here. And your grenade will do absolute work in here. Now, again, same sort of ads, except swap out. You can see there jumping down. Swap out the, the Arc Knights for, for Solar Cabal. Uh, sorry, other way about. Solar Knights for Arc Cabal. Uh, you are going to have an Overload. You are going to have an Unstoppable, but you're also going to have just a big-ass Ogre. Just a yellow bar Ogre that's going to push you around here. Your turret is going to be invaluable. So, so is your Rift. And you'll see, I actually, at one point, I get pushed by the Overload. Uh, and and, and it, it seems like it might have been a bad time. But because of, the, because of my grenade and obviously the Rift, I actually managed to tank it. And I used my Super... You get a massive damage resistance in your super. Use your super in this area almost like, you know, I need this to save me. And if you've got a uh, charge for light, you're also going to get uh, the benefits of uh, protective light, which <clears throat> I don't want to say it makes you unkillable when you lose your shields, when you go red bar, but it's, it's going to take a lot to kill you. And I actually tank a lot of damage here. But for the whole thing... I think I was maybe in trouble once and my super got me out of it. I'm going to add this in to two points while we're just clearing ads. As you can see, I'm just breaking shields and killing ads. First thing, a lot of people are going to look at the fact that I am 1373. Nothing to do with the, the strategy for this. You can only overlevel an activity by 20 levels. So once in this, in this once you hit... There's the the big the big ogre, so we we'll just get a couple of couple of hits on him. I haven't got my rift yet, so I use this this tree. And I just charge up my unstoppable shot and just get some melt on. And now I've got my rift, so clear him. Put the rift down, put the grenade out, and we're good. So. The highest, the most powerful you can be in this activity anyway is 1340 because it's a 1320 activity. So if you're 1342 in this activity, you will be doing as much damage as me at 1373. So the power level doesn't matter past a certain point in every activity. So now you're getting Hobgoblin Snipers. So I'm, I'm doing my best to, to clear them as fast as possible. It just it's just one less thing to worry about but they, they will overrun but you can see uh, you see how it says healing rift and it stopped the time I stopped that's what the sanguine does for you so I've actually got another rift ready to go so if you're doing killing obviously you will be but when you're killing make sure you're doing it from inside your rift because it just it helps so much now we'll put my rift down. See my rift is on 13. The minute I get my first kill. Now I actually got pushed here. So I froze the rift. You see the rift is frozen now. Now I'm being pushed. So I, I just popped my super. Now what the super will do is. Any ads that got too close. They can be cleared. But I'm not going to kill this hobgoblin. So what I'm going to do is just keep hitting them. And then at some point, see, I stopped hitting them. And now I've stopped them. I've got a rift. So I'll put it down behind this tree. And I'll stop them. Put down my grenade. Just make sure I can start getting damage on them. And now I'll just finish them off. There you go. And I've got another rift. That the sanguine alchemy I started using that a while ago, just for little bits of content, nothing really serious. But it was such, such a, a, a good experience that I, I've been looking to find another thing to use it in. And because I haven't really been do making a lot of content, which I'll explain when we're in the boss fight, uh, I haven't really had cause to use it. Now, again. Because I, I, I just haven't done these that often. 
I didn't know I was going to get attacked from up above, so I put the rift down and realised I'm in trouble here. So I would suggest where you were doing the damage from, just go there to start with. Don't mess about. Just go over here. You can see you've got the fuel. Just you've got the suppressing fuel down here. I was just making sure that I was good. So I'm gonna try and take the night at least. And you can see there I am getting sniped, so I'm kind of strafing. I had to drop down because I was getting hit pretty badly. But you could have, I could have dropped down here anyway and just come over here and took the ads from here. So this is what I would do to start with. Just come over here, check below you to make sure that there's no ads. Because I'm not sure if these ads are always here or whether they've moved here. And you see the portal over on the far right. That's where we're going. Uh, and that's us at the boss. Now, I had a moment at the boss, and you'll see it here. But just remember what i done, especially if you're doing it on the Warlock, which I would suggest doing this on the Warlock. Uh, boss is going to come in, and what's going to happen is it's kind of three phases. Boss starts in the mid here. You're going to get some void shielded uh, goblins. Uh, but the the boss does it does an attack on you and. It's exactly the same as the Corrupted Strike. She'll put a damage dealing field around you. Uh, you don't want to be there when it, when it lands. This one, so I, you see I've moved. And then because I was in the air, I got blasted. Now we've got ads. You could, you could at this stage, you could have moved across to where I'm going now. You could have jumped right across there and took the ads. I'm trying to get the boss to go. I've got a rift, but this is what happened. Got the rift down. It's not happened yet. I thought that was where it happened. She's going to blast me off. I'm a little bit too close to the edge. She's going to blast me off. And I couldn't save myself. What i done was I floated back down to the portal. <laughs> so, you can save yourself if you get blasted off. Right? It doesn't affect anything. As you can see, it actually gets you out of trouble. So if you do need to here, just get out of here. Just keep rotating. Again, as as I've said, I've got I've no 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 I'm good. I've got my rift. You can see there, I've got my grenade out. The grenade's doing its work. I'm just moving, sliding, getting away from it. But you can move over. To where the ads come from. So now that I've got 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 rid of the ads, all I needed to do was hit one more. Now you can see there's 21 minutes on the clock. I did do this under 25 minutes. You see me get the triumph at the end. It's a lot easier once you get her over on the sides. So these void shielded ads, they will they will push. Some of them will push, and then they'll normally be one over on the other side. So. As you can see, I'm just breaking the shield. The bow will finish it off. And then, now you've got an unstoppable. I was ready for the unstoppable. Very easy. Now what I'll do is, I see the ads coming. I'll put the, the, the turret down. The turret will deal with them. If they become a problem, which you can see here, I'll just pop my super. Which clears them all quite nicely. And then the last couple of shots, I'm just firing over at the boss. And then I, th I think I only need to hit the boss once with a, with a precision shot. It wasn't even a precision shot. Now she'll switch sides and rinse and repeat. Except you don't get... Out. What you're going to do now is you're going to kill these void guys. Right? And then don't worry about the ads. Put it on her. Because if you can kill her, as you see, that's exactly what I'm going to do. The minute you kill her, that's over. The ads will despawn. Uh, and two precision hits will do it with, with the threaded needle with Vorpal and taking spec. I think it's two. This one, this guy over here, I think there was two over here. Uh, I'll finish him off with a bow. One went and hid, but I, was, I wasn't bored. I had two minutes just to break the shield, kill it, and then kill the boss. 
So the reason why I haven't really been making a lot of other content at the moment is because I was doing that challenge, that uh, Season Rank 1000 challenge. Now that I'm not doing that challenge, I'm going to be doing a little bit more content. You can see there, two shots dead, and it's 23 and a half minutes. I'll be making, I'll be making a bit more content, but alongside this video, I am going to be releasing uh, kind of like a, a little kind of talk about the the zero to a thousand challenge, the season rank a thousand challenge, uh, and I'll be speaking more in that video about what's coming up on the channel. So make sure you check that out as well if you've enjoyed this. There's the challenge, uh, the seasonal challenge for doing under 25 minutes. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I always appreciate the support I get. Uh, if you did enjoy this, a like would be appreciated. Take it easy, guys. Good luck with your runs. Remember, survivability is key. That is the number one thing here. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. And until the next video, take it easy. And I will see you then.